Maya is a 3D program, but we actually operate Maya through a 2D interface, which is our flat screen of our computer. Now, in order to overcome this difference, we need to use some special keyboard and mouse functions in order to be able to navigate in 3D space on a 2D screen. The simplest way to change your view in Maya is by using what's called the view cube, and it's this little cube at the top right of every viewport. If the view cube doesn't show up on your screen, you can reveal it by going to display, heads up display, and down here we have an option for view cube, so you can just turn it off here. So display, heads up display, view cube, and that will turn it on and off. Now we can just hit any one of these points on the cube and we'll see that option. So if we hit the front view, we'll see the front. If we hit the corner of this, we'll see kind of like a three quarter or the left, or if we want, we can hit the top arrow here. We can see the top. We can also rotate this around and so on. If we hit the home, it goes back to a perspective view or we can go to a front view. Now this is great for just giving a general overview of what we want to look at, but if we want to actually zoom in and get in close, we need to actually start navigating in 3D. Now we navigate in Maya using a combination of the keyboard and the mouse. Now on the keyboard, you're going to notice just immediately to the side of the spacebar, there's going to be the Alt key on the PC keyboard, or if you have a Mac keyboard, it's going to be called the Option key. So what we do is we hold down Alt or Option, and then we left, middle, or right click to do our navigation. So what I'm going to do is hold down the Alt key, and then left click. And notice how my cursor changes, and if I drag, you can see that, well, I'm rotating. I'm actually spinning around this scene. So I can actually change my angle of view, or tumble, by using Alt plus left click. Now if I middle click, while holding down the Alt key, you can see I can pan and just move left or right. If I right click, notice how that changes again and you can see how I can basically zoom or truck into the scene. So between these three, you can see how I can actually tumble around the scene, zoom in, get in close, come out to see more, and so on. Now there's also one more mouse function and this is for people who have a mouse with a middle scroll wheel. And just by rolling that scroll wheel, you can zoom in and out. So in order to zoom, you can either Alt and right click, or you can just roll the middle mouse button. They do pretty much the same thing. Now there's also other ways to look at the scene. We're actually right now looking at what's called a perspective view, which allows us to see things in perspective. But there are gonna be times when you want to see kind of more of a drafting view what's called an orthographic view. And those you can get to by using the presets down here, or if you just hit the space bar, it'll go to that default for view. Now you'll notice here, we still have our perspective view, but we also have a top, a front, and a side view as well. Now in this top, front, and side view, I can also navigate using the same keys except I can't tumble. So if I hit Alt and left click, you're gonna see the little no, you can't do that sign on the side view, but I can still pan and I can still zoom. In fact, let's go ahead over to this view here, which is in wireframe, but you can see I can still zoom, pan, but I can't rotate. But that's because this is really a fixed flat 2D view or an orthographic view, kind of like how you would see a top view in a drafting program, such as a CAD program or something like that. Now, if I want to switch between any one of these viewports, again, the space bar is what I need. So if I just place my mouse, say, over the top viewport and hit space, I go into the top viewport. I hit space again, and it goes into my four view. If I put my mouse over my perspective view, hit space bar, Again, I get into my perspective view. Now the thing here is I'm tapping the space bar. If I hit the space bar and hold, you'll notice that a menu comes up. We're gonna discuss this menu a little bit later, but for just switching between viewports, it's actually just a very quick tap on that space bar. So let's go back into our perspective view and let's do a little bit of practice. Let's say we wanted to zoom into the couches in this office. All I have to do again is hold down Alt or Option and then right click and zoom in 
But of course, I'm zooming into the center there, so I'm going to have to middle click and drag. And again, I'm holding down the Alt key the whole time. And then if I wanted to get a different angle on this, I can just, again, left click and drag. And notice how by just moving your fingers on the mouse, you can pretty much get this intuitive way of positioning yourself in the scene. There is another way of navigating, and that's using the frame key, or actually the F key. So if I hit the F key on the keyboard, it'll frame everything in the scene, except when I have an object selected. So if I left click, say, on the couch and highlight it and hit F, it'll go ahead and frame that couch. That's a great way to zoom in very quickly to a certain place in the scene. So now you know the basics of navigating in Maya. So go ahead and practice this and get fluent with it.